This is Clover's needle felting program. I'd like to share with you all the different tools that we have. And first of all, we have two sizes of brush mats. We have a five needle um, felting tool. It's very nice because it has a locked and unlocked position. So when it's locked, this doesn't uh, pr produce the um, needles. When it's unlocked, you're ready to work into your mat. The next thing that we have that I'm going to talk to you about are the needles. The needles are unique because they're barbed. They're very sharp and they have little barb edges on the uh, ridges on the point. And the reason for that is what we're trying to do is integrate the fibers one into the other so that we actually create a felt. The next tool that we have is, uh, we'll, you'll see this in action during uh, the demonstration here, but this is uh, a rake that actually can combine the roving together and you can use it to hold and you also have this end which is a uh, brush cleaning section so that you can clean uh, roving that has gotten down into your mat out. The other style that we have is called a pen style needing needle felting tool and it's very nice because it has a cap of course to keep it pr to protect but it also has three needles. The nice thing about this is that you can do more of your fine work with uh, needle felting. You can take out the needles and take it down to just one needle. Three, two, or one. Very easy to uh, change your needles and to remove them. You will use this cap when you're working with it pen style. When you're working with our molds, and we have um, several molds that go along with this program, and they look like this. You want to use the um, guard on the pen style, and it just fits on like this. And then as you're using the mold, it prevents the needles from going too far down or getting caught on the mold itself. So it's really a nice... Uh, tool that regulates the depth that your needles are going to go into the brush mat. You always want to take this off, put the uh, pen section back on, and put the cap on when you're done. And by the way, you can also, um, I didn't talk about it at the beginning here, but these can also be changed as well, the needles in the five needle felting tool. It's just a matter of pulling the, taking out this disc and then pulling out your needle and replacing. So there you go. The other thing that we have is that uh, the star of the show is the wool roving. We can't, these are just a few of our colors, but it comes in many, many different colors. The next thing that I want to do is to show you some technique of how to how all these tools work. And the first one we're going to use the large mat. And we're going to use the five uh, needle felting tool. And we're going to just take some roving, which is unspun wool, and we're going to pull off a chunk and you'll see that it's all in straight lines. What you want to do is really stir it up. And if you want some extra coloration to give it a little bit of dimension, you can mix your colors. And that's always fun to do. And that's where your rake is going to come into handy. So it's almost like carding. If the fibers are straight and not jumbled up like this, you won't get a good felt. So it's very important to have just the biggest mess you can create. We like that about our, our crafting. All right, once you've done that, you're going to put it onto your brush mat. And then just begin, well, it's in the locked position. It's a good thing. I like to 
pick it up from the edges and roll it in. A lot of times that will give you a nice, um, nice edge on your your felt. You're actually creating felt right now. So as these barbs are going through the roving and to the brush mat, all these little fibers are getting stuck together. You want to do a little bit on one side and then turn it over and felt again on the back. It's quite an interesting process. Um, and it, it's like making bread in some cases where you're kneading it back and forth. One side and 